I want to tell you a bit about the lab environment I use in this course. In most parts of the course, I will configure one Cisco ASA firewall over and over again. I want to show you how it looks like. That firewall has two main interfaces. It's an inside and an outside. The outside IP address in this firewall, in this setup, is an IP address that starts with 10, which is a private IP address. But I use that because I connect that to my lab environment at home. And I want you to imagine that whenever you see an IP address that starts with 10.192.168 in this course, that is a public IP address. Instead of connecting the firewall directly to internet and have a public IP address, I use a private IP address here, and the private IP address is 10.192.168. You should think about that as if it were a public IP address. The inside is using the IP address 10.0.0.1. And that's the private and protected inside network where we have our servers and so on. In some videos, I will also configure two additional networks. It's a DM set and it's a guest network. They will not be connected to anything. And I will use those just to show you how NAT works and how to do more advanced filtering in the firewall. In most cases, we will work with a simple firewall with one inside and one outside interface. And you should see the outside as it were connected directly to the internet but I use an IP address that starts with 10.192.168.8 in this environment. I run this. In this case, I connect with SSH to the outside IP address using a terminal window, as you can see here. And this firewall is actually not a physical device, but it is a virtual device. And it's run here. I'm using something called VMware Fusion to do this. VMware Fusion is a virtualization software running on Mac OS X. And I use something called ASA V, which means it's a virtual Cisco ASA appliance that I will talk about in other videos. I run a virtual firewall. It has eight interfaces. I only use two of them. That's the inside and the outside. Whenever you see a black terminal window, that is that I'm running on the console itself. Because this is a virtual firewall, I cannot connect with a physical console port to the device. Instead, I run this window here, which is a VMware Fusion window. As you can see, when I scale this up to full screen, it's a bit blurry. And that's the way VMware Fusion works. And I cannot do very much about it. Whenever you see this, I'm connected to the console. And this is the console port of the device. And whenever you see a window with white background, that's an SSH session to the firewall itself. To connect to this device, I use SSH from my Macintosh and I connect to this IP address, which is the outside IP address of the firewall, because my Macintosh is on the outside of the firewall. If we look at the VMware Fusion, we can see that it has two interfaces. One of them is bridge, and the other one is custom. This is the outside interface that is bridged to my outside network, and this is a virtual custom network. It's the inside. And I could connect these as well, all interfaces, because in the ASA V, we have eight available interfaces. So I have gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 to 8. And I also have a management interface. That's actually nine. If we should count these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine interfaces. But only two of them are connected. I also, in some videos, run a Windows 10 client. That is also a virtual client running under VMware Fusion. When I run the VPN part of the course, I will also use a server, Windows 2012 R2 server, and that's also virtual in VMware Fusion. So I run all this in my Macintosh laptop. If you want to use ASA V, I recommend you to download it from Cisco. You need to have a login on Cisco, but you can use ASA V without any licenses because it's a bit limited. Sometimes in this course, you will see an error message that tells that the ASA firewall is unlicensed and it still works to use as a lab environment or for education purposes, but you cannot use without licenses in a real implementation.